Hey, Pretty Girl Club. Have you ever noticed how no one argues with a darker skinned person when they name their own skin tone chocolate or ebony or coffee or something like that? But then as soon as a light skinned person comes in the room, people love to argue back and forth about whether or not that person is light skinned. Why? It's because deep down inside those people who are arguing view being light skinned as being a part of some sort of exclusive club. My opinion is that if you're policing it, you're pedestalizing it. Why is it that nobody cares if someone's dark skin, they can call themselves anything in the book and you don't give a fuck. But suddenly, if they're light skinned and they say, oh, hey, I'm caramel, I'm peanut butter, whatever, I'm butterscotch, toffee, then suddenly it's a problem and you want to pick apart their undertones, you want to pull up pictures of them in the summertime, winter, spring, and fall, you want to ask them what their foundation shade is, and you want to do a whole dissertation on what their undertones are, what their overtones are, and how they compare to your family members who happen to be around the same complexion as them. Why? Like I said, it's because people won't admit that deep down inside, they pedestalize light skin. And why is it usually non-light skin people who argue back and forth about who's light skinned and who's not? It's because deep down inside, people view being light skinned as a flex. People view being light skinned as giving you beauty points or giving you attractiveness points or giving you social status. And so because of that, they don't like when you acknowledge yourself as being light skinned because they feel like, wait a minute, you're flexing on me. Shut up. No, you're not that light skinned. Shut up. You're brown skinned as if being brown is like lower on the scale or whatever. Meanwhile, beige is a shade of brown. Tan is a shade of brown. All of these things are shades of brown. So most people of color who are not white passing, in fact, all people of color who are non-white passing would technically be brown. So that's why sometimes I have an issue with the term brown skin because I feel like people try to throw lighter skin people in and out of being called brown skin as a humbling tactic. And I don't like when people do that because brown skin is not lower than people who are lighter than that or people who are more white looking. And why is it that the term brown skinned is always used as a derogatory term? You're not light skinned, you're brown skinned, you're just brown skinned. I don't like how people do that because they are trying, they are subconsciously promoting a skin tone and color hierarchy. And they're doing the same thing as well when they are policing and arguing back and forth about who's light skinned and who's not. Why do you care if she's light skinned, sis? Why do you care if she calls herself light skinned? Why are you obsessed with light skinned Keisha's skin tone? You've never seen her in person. You will never meet her in person. You don't even know who she is. She doesn't know you exist, but you're over here screenshotting pictures of her, comparing pictures from 10 years ago, five years ago, showing her in the sunlight, in natural light, and in a shadow to try to tell if she's light skinned or not. Why? Because deep down inside you care about who's light skinned because you view being light skinned as a flex. And that's why people get offended when you call yourself light skinned. It's because they feel like you are flexing. They feel like you are bragging. They think that being light skinned is something to brag over. And that's why they get offended if you call yourself that because they associate it with bragging or being stuck up or thinking you're better. Same thing with people who say that they're mixed. They'll be like, oh, well, she brought up being mixed when no one asked. Meanwhile, you're wearing t-shirts that talk about your melanin and say your melanin is popping. Nobody says the same thing. Oh, this dark skinned girl, she's wearing a melanin is popping t-shirt. Who does she think she is? She thinks she's better than me. Why does nobody say that? Because deep down inside, you view being mixed as a flex and you view being mixed as something that puts you higher up on a social pedestal. So that's your opinion and that's, you know, none of my business, but why are we doing all of this projecting? People have the right to call themselves and their skin tones by whatever name they see fit. So if they want to call themselves brown, fine. If they want to call themselves light, fine. If they want to call themselves caramel, peanut butter, chocolate, toffee, mocha, who cares? Your skin is just an organ on your body. It does not determine your level of beauty. It doesn't determine how far you'll go in life or if you're going to fail. But some people seem to think that it does. And that's why they get mad when light-skinned people acknowledge that they are light-skinned. And don't even get me started on if you're light-skinned and you like your skin tone. Oh no, you are an absolute colorist at that point. Just like how if you have a type 3 hair texture and you love your hair texture, then you're automatically a texturist. So you're not allowed to love yourself if you have any qualities about yourself that people find desirable. 
So it's similar to how people who lose a lot of weight, they'll be like, oh, I love my new body. And then people will be like, oh, you're bragging. Well, she's not bragging. She's simply showing self-love and, you know, she worked for her body. And I, I know that when it comes to how you were born, like you didn't work for it. You didn't work for your skin tone or for your hair texture or whatever. And so this is why some people feel like it's not fair. Like, oh, that's not fair that you got to be born this way. Okay, but my response is people can't help how they were born. I don't get mad at random white people and say, oh my God, you're a white supremacist. Like you think you're better than me. No, not every white person is a white supremacist. Just like how not every mixed person thinks they're better than black people. And just like how not every light skinned person is automatically a colorist. And has anyone noticed how the standard for light skinned women is so much lighter than the standard for light skinned men? I've seen people like the game, Trey songs, August Alsina, uh, Will Smith, and lots of other people being called light skin, TI, etc. I've seen all kinds of guys like that being called light skin and nobody cares, right? But let's say you're a woman and you're TI's color. Uh, suddenly people want to start arguing with you and saying you're trying to be a colorist and that you're trying to brag. Actually, light skin Keisha is somewhere around that color. So it's like suddenly you're trying to brag and you're trying to like put yourself over others. No, you feel like a woman who is TI's color is above others. That's why you're trying to cut her down. And if you didn't feel like her quote unquote skin tone gave her status, then you wouldn't even feel the need to try to humble her and take away that status of being light skinned. The fact that you're trying to take away the title or whatever of being light skinned, trying to take away the light skin title means that you think it's a title. You think that it gives her a sense of status and that's why you're trying to take it away. You view being light skinned as a crown. And so if a woman says, oh yeah, I'm light skinned, so whatever, then you want to take away that crown. So, but the fact that you're taking it away, that shows that you view it as a crown. If you police it, you're pedestalizing it. If you gatekeep it, it's because you, you feel like it's valuable. You feel like it should be kept behind a gate because people don't do the same thing if somebody has a very dark skin tone. They don't say, shut up, you're not coffee colored. Oh, you're only a light mocha color, shut up. You're not that dark skin. No, they don't say that. Because deep down inside in your mind, you don't feel like that skin tone is an exclusive club or something that gives somebody extra points and status. But as soon as somebody says they're light skinned, you try to argue back and forth with them because deep down inside, you feel like the term light skin should be gate kept. And like I said, this is a part of why we tend to mainly see non-light-skinned people arguing back and forth and trying to determine what is light-skinned and what's not. And like I said, the way that you can shut them down is by asking them, what color is light-skinned? And then watch them go silent. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video as, an, as a uh, follow-up to the last video because I just, I'm so tired of people doing this. But let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies.